my books were harmed in the filming of this video. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Kirsty's Booked. Today I'm going to do a book haul of the books I got for Christmas. <laughs> First book, Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. I'm obsessed with Sarah Adams books. I love her so much. I have searched high and low for this book. Um, when it came out, I was so desperate to get it. I literally tried every bookshop that there was, could not find it. They offered to order it in for me, but I wasn't going to be there when they when it would be delivered. So I didn't get it. And I was really scared about ordering it for Amazon <laughs> in case it got damaged. Um, the only place I found it was in the airport when I was coming back from Iceland in October last this year, October a couple of months ago, and it was like £14. <laughs> and I didn't buy it obviously because it was really expensive. And then I was like, oh, I wish I just bought it because I was desperate to read it. I got it for Christmas and I'm so excited, so excited to read it. Second one, Love Like Farms by BK Borison. Also asked for this one. I'm actually already 100 pages into it. <laughs> Obsessed already is slowly becoming, not slowly, very quickly becoming my entire personality. I've read in the weeds. I shouldn't have read the sequel first because then I know what happens but it's okay. Um, it's just because I had the sequel first and then so obviously I was desperate to get this one and I really want to read the whole series now. So it says there's got mixed signals on the back of here. There's another one as well. I don't remember what it's called but I need to find it at some point because I'm loving this. I'm trying to read it before the new year because I can still kind of justify reading Christmas books at this time of year. I don't think I can when we go into January. Next one, um, The Other Hand by Chris Cleave. Look at the cover. That is gorgeous. Um, never seen this one before. I just got given it. Um, sounds really good. Very different. I have no clue what to expect from this. Um, if you've read it or know anything about it, tell me. <laughs> Um, but maybe it'll be nice going in it almost completely blind. Um, again, it'll probably sit on my TBR for a while before I get round to it, but I'm excited to get round to it. Next book, um, Nobody But Us by Lore Van Rensburg. Again, never heard of this, but it looks like a solid thriller. Again, good, strong cover. Um, yeah, if you want the blurb, let me know, <laughs> but it looks really good. I love a little thriller. The next one's um, I actually bought on Boxing Day when we were out, but I think they still count as a Christmas book haul. <laughs> oh my word, so many interruptions, honestly. <laughs> okay, so first one that I bought was the Folk of the Air series by Holly Black. Um, let me open it actually. <laughs> Should probably have opened it before I start filming. I just finished the other day reading The Crow Prince by Holly Black which I was really scared to read because of the amount of hype around it but I genuinely absolutely loved it um, so I needed The Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing but now I've got two copies of The Crow Prince but that's okay um, but yeah I'm so excited to read the rest of that series I hope the rest of the series lives up to it I think it's supposed to I was in the works I'll open this one as well <laughs> and while I was buying the Folk of the Air series. I also bought myself the Modern Fairy Tales trilogy, also by Holly Black. Now, I've not really seen this series as much. I thought I hadn't seen it at all. And then when I was looking, oh, look at the covers. I'm sorry, but look at this. But then when I bought it, I was thinking, I think I've heard of Valent. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I don't think, oh my god, look at that, gorgeous. Um, but anyway, so I've not really heard of this series as much. I don't remember seeing it on Bookstagram. And I mean, Holly Black's all over Bookstagram, but I don't remember seeing this series. Um, I maybe have, and it's just my bad memory. But yes, because I was so obsessed with The Crow Prince, I just decided to go for a load of Holly Black. Um, and I'm genuinely so excited. Now, I don't usually read that much fantasy. I'm primarily a romance with a little bit of thriller reader. Um, 
with the exceptions of like Harry Potter and things like that. But this year I read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. Loved them so much. Also didn't manage to crack the spine. Oh no, I did a little bit. Doesn't matter. I was obsessed with these books. This I think might be my favourite read of 2023, but I'll do that in another video. Um, so I loved those and then I read Crow Prince and loved it and I'm sort of wanting to get back into my fantasy. Hence why I bought those six books and I also bought Rule of Wills by Lee Bardugo and King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. Three pound for that bargain. I got so excited when I saw these. I needed to buy the Shadow and Bone series because I've not read it and I think I was supposed to read Shadow and Bone before I read Six of Crows duology. But I didn't. <laughs> so, oh well. What's done is done. But I really want to reread Six of Crows and Cricket Kingdom and hopefully annotate them. Uh, but I also want to read these and Six of Crows. No, not Six of Crows. And Shadow and Bone. And watch the series, which I think has been cancelled. Do I want to get myself invested in it and then be sad that it's cancelled? I don't know. <laughs> also, One of Us is Lying has been cancelled. I don't know if anybody else on here. I love Karen and McManus. Her books are incredible and they were making a really good job of the series. And I was really excited that they were going to keep the series going even after the books had finished. And yeah, now they've cancelled it. But it's okay because the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series is coming out on TV and when I tell you I'm excited, I, I can't even cope. I am going to be obsessed when that comes out. They better make a good job of it. I think they will because I know like Holly Jackson was like really involved in it and the cast is just perfection. So yeah. Anyway, I'm getting completely off topic. I think that's all the books I have to talk about. I know this is not a book, but I need to show you these these from my boss. So I opened up a present and I thought, oh my word, it's so cute. Look at the little gonk. Look at the hats of the little gonks. Oh, I can't even pick them up now. Look, Harry Potter gonks. That is my haul done. If you have watched the whole way through, thank you so much, genuinely. Um, and if you want to like subscribe or like this video or anything like that, it would genuinely mean so much to me. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon.